Welcome Sagittarius. This is your reading for November the 1st through the 15th. And as I was meditating on your energy, I was seeing the moon. And this may be because of the eclipse that's coming through um, November the 7th. Um, I hope I got that date right. If I didn't, please forgive me. Um, but I was seeing the moon in your meditating on your energies and um, now for the collective energy I've been getting a lot of changes coming through and the moon may signify new changes it may signify trusting your intuition um, it may signify problems or delays but yeah, that is the energy that I was getting when I was focusing on your energy. And your overall energy for this reading is the Three of Wands. And what's crossing you is the Seven of Swords. Let's see, let's get your past energy. These two wanted to come out. The Seven of Wands and the Eight of Wands in reverse. What's your crowning energy? The Five of Swords. Your foundations, the Queen of Cups. Your near future, the judgments. You are coming through as the hangman. Your environments, please. Is the two of swords in reverse? Your hopes and desires. Yes, there's that moon coming through. Okay. And now the overall outcome. We have the Six of Pentacles. Okay. I'm seeing this reading. Um, it starts out pretty serious on the serious side, um, but actually as we go through the outcome gets better. You also have temperance on the bottom, so I do see a lot of harmony and balance um, coming in for you towards the end here. Let's get three clarifying cards as well. Okay, let's see you have the Seven of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and the Devil in reverse. Okay, so it seems like you're breaking and you have the High Priestess at the bottom. Okay, so it seems like you're, you're breaking some Some obsessions you're breaking some chains here and I kind of I kind of feel that situation for you you uh, for your overall energy you have the three of wands and the seven of swords so with the three of wands I feel like you are seeing yourself moving in the right direction and maybe uh, the seven of swords that's crossing you um, There may be someone around you who's lying, cheating, and stealing. Um, if they're someone is betraying you, someone's being dis 
dishonest. Um, in the near past, you have the Seven of Wands and the Eight of Wands in reverse. So I feel like you had to go through a, a period of protection, of protecting yourself. Um, and this felt like you were going through it for a very long time, it seems like. It seems like you were defending yourself, like you were standing your ground, protecting your energy for quite a while. And uh, let's see, you have the Five of Swords, which is crowning you. So I feel like these are disappointments that's coming through. Um, this may be a relationship that you're going through that is kind of on turbulent ground right now. Um, it may be that you're just going through challenges in the situation. Um, but I feel like this may be your energy or this may be coming someone coming in to support you but i feel at your foundation you have the queen of cups and you're maybe you're nurturing yourself or you're supporting yourself in this situation but i i really feel like someone's coming to support you someone's coming to support you in this situation um so you do have someone who has your back and the judgment card I feel like in this situation, you are gaining clarity to make a final decision about what you need to do about this situation. I feel like um, it's actually moving you towards your, to set you in a position that, that you will be victorious. You're, you're gaining all the wisdom that you need in this in this situation and I feel like um, it's gonna have a happier outcome um, I feel like you are people are seeing you as being indecisive people feel like you have choices to make but you're not making those choices at the moment you're kind of standing your ground you're not moving forward you are but, but you're seeing yourself, these are your hopes and fears. This is your up subconscious. You are actually seeing the, the problems at hand and you're making the changes in your mind. Um, you are trusting your intuition. And I feel like the overall outcome, you're gaining all the wisdom you are someone's going to help you receive the clarity that you need this may be also finances someone's going to give you something that's going to help you through your situation i believe and now the clarifying situation i feel like you have options I feel like you have options in this situation and the overall outcome is going to be well. You're going to get through this situation and you're going to come above it. You are going to find your happiness again. And whatever it is that was binding you, that was holding you back, you're not taking in the energy. You're kind of disregarding the energy. That's no longer serving you at the moment. And I don't see that as um, holding you back. I see you as cutting that loose. You also have the high priestess. So I feel like any secrets that are going to come out, um, you are trusting yourself in the situation and you're moving ahead. So, yeah, I feel that very strongly for you. Okay. And you have the Page of Pentacles as well. So the Page of Pentacles, you may be receiving a message or like I said, someone may be sending you something to help you through your situation. That may be someone sending you money or someone helping you through um, whatever it is you're going through at the moment. Okay, let's see. 
let's find some clarity on these cards real quick. What is this Three of Wands and the Seven of Swords? What is this Three of Wands and Seven of Swords? With this Three of Wands and the Seven of Swords, I kind of see you moving away from the situation. This may be something that you're leaving. All these cards want to come out. <sighs> Okay, two of them want to come out. Yeah, you have the, I'm sorry, I bumped the camera. You have the six of pentacles and the strength card. So yeah, definitely someone wants to come in and provide you some help in this situation. Um, you have to be open to receive. whatever it is that they're providing you with. Um, but I, I feel like this is something that's going to um, help you through this. Yeah, you have the Six of Pentacles twice. So th this, is, this is someone offering you something to help you through your situation. Get down, Kobe. <clears throat> He's been picking with me all day. If he's not hissing at the babies, he's trying to jump up here. He's being nosy. Okay, what is this? Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, this is someone who's going to come in and provide you with more stability on the situation. This person is going to provide you with the resources that you need. What is this Five of Swords? What is this Five of Swords energy? The Knight of Pentacles. If this is conflict and challenges, uh, I see it kind of lingering. Uh, this could be energy that you're in for... few days I'm seeing what is this Queen of Cups who is this Queen of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles okay this is someone who's gonna come in and offer you help um, they're gonna come in and offer you offer you something I feel like this Queen of Cups is patiently waiting for you to ask for help okay yeah I feel like this Queen of Cups is actually waiting patiently um, for you to ask for help or ask for advice on the situation or ask for for something for this um, you also have on the judgment card you also have the queen queen of cups again and the six of wands so i feel like this queen of cups is gonna what, what they're offering to you um is actually gonna really help you through your situation um it's really going to bring you out of 
whatever it is you're going through at the moment. Um, the Six of Wands is actually success, victory, um, recognition. So I, I feel like this Queen of Cups is going to come in and kind of save the day, if you will. Tell me more about this hangman. With this hangman, you have the hermit and the three of cups. So, yeah, I think with the hangman, um, you've got all the answers that you need. Um, you're gaining guidance and you're being fully supported uh, with the three of cups. The three of cups is my card of support and friendship. <clears throat> With the Two of Swords, you have the Three of Swords. So I feel like you're progressing through this. Um, the choices that you need to make may be disappointing choices, but I feel like you, you know that these are choices that need to be made. I don't feel heartbreak or any strong feelings. I feel like this is just disappointing. Um, tell me more about this moon energy, please. With the moon, we have the death card. So yeah, this is definitely, uh, you want to put an end to these frustrations. You want to rid yourself of these feelings, you you want to start anew. Maybe you're leaving a relationship and this Queen of Cups is coming in to give you support. Okay, but I feel like the overall energy um, with the Six of Pentacles, uh, you do have the Sun, so I feel like after this ending, there's going to be um, a, a more of a time of happiness. You've got the sun you, in the clarifying cards. You also have the ten of the excuse me the ten of cups as well. So I'm, I feel like this is just um, a cycle that you're going through. These are changes that need to be made, and with these eclipses and the moons and such. This is a great, great, great time that most of the signs are going through this change right with you. Okay, tell me more about this Seven of Cups, Ten of Cups, and the Devil in Reverse, please. Tell me more about this. Okay, the Five of Wands. Yeah, so your challenges will be over. Um, it'll be an end to these challenges and conflicts. And the Eight of Swords. Okay. So I, I see yourself releasing yourself from this situation. And you do have the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom. So I feel like um, you're once you come out of this situation, you're going to come out more stable, more secure. Um and you may come out single. Um, so if this is a relationship situation, you may be single for a time. You may be more independent. Um, but I feel like once you come out of this situation, you are going to be happier with yourself. I'm kind of getting that feeling that... You're releasing things from your life that needed to be released. And it's going to bring you into more happiness, more abundance, more prosperity. Yeah, you have earth magic. Number one, that's magician energy. So, yeah, all the resources that you need are going to come to you. Um, you have all the abilities that you need. You have, um, 
you're focusing more on yourself, I believe. You're focusing your attention on something new that's being created in your life. And it is what it is. Number number six. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, the number six is the lovers. So it is what it is. And I think that yeah, that this could definitely be something that's ending, that's starting a new beginning. This could be a relationship or a marriage that's ending. But I believe that in the end, you're going to be more happier of the outcome. Okay, and you also have number 40, the land in between. So, yeah, you may feel stuck at the moment, but with the hermit and the hangman and the three of cups, you have all the answers that you need in the situation. You have all the clarity. You definitely have all the wisdom. I feel like you are fully supported in the situation, so you're free to move forward. Um, and spirit is also letting you know you have a higher view. So they're they're looking onto you for um, providing you with protection. You have a higher view, so maybe look to your higher power as a source for um, guidance. And, and trust in that. Okay, let's take a look at our angels. Let's see what our angels want to say. What do our angels want to say about the situation for Sagittarius? Okay. Archangel Uriel, your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to a greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and your mind. Okay, so you have the protection of Ariel. Um, you have healing. You have forgiveness. And that, that's the greatest part. You forgive. You forgive people for yourself you don't forgive them for their benefit you forgive them for yourself and you also forgive yourself for anything that may have happened um for past healing yes yeah, so that's beautiful energy and you have teresa time out you've been busy taking care of everyone else's needs but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself yeah, so you need to focus on yourself. And you have Serafina at the bottom. I am the angel of families. A happy change or addition is coming to your family. Yeah, so the, there may be a new family member coming to your family. Or this is a happy change. This change will bring you more happiness to your life. Okay, Sagittarius, this reading was for you. Make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity and more messages. And many blessings to you. Love and light.